everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I'm doing a voiceover on my painting. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour on this 12 by 16 inch canvas. I've already put down a base coat of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I'm using leftover paints today and as I'm using them I will let you know what they are and I'll also put them in the description. The first one I put down is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Rich Brown. Very, very deep brown color. Very pretty. The next color that I'm putting down here is um, a combination of, let's see what I have. Hmm. Oh, it's just Deco Art Metallics Deep, Deep Sapphire. And this is the combination of greens. It's Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green and Amsterdam Permanent Deep Green. Oh, this is a, a light color from Modern Masters. It's called Green Apple. Very pretty light green color. You can see I'm just laying the paints down. And this red is again Modern Masters and it's called Sachet Red. Again, all leftover colors from a previous pour. My pouring medium today is the mix. I've never done a Dutch pour with the mix, so this is all experimental. This pretty yellow color is Porridge Posse Paint Persian Autumn Yellow. And I did have a little bit of the um, DecoArt 24 karat gold that I'm putting on there at the last minute. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I'm just going back and adding a little more color here and there. Just making sure that when I blow this out, I will have enough paint where I want it. It's always fun to work with your leftover colors. And this is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I'm just adding some here to both sides of the colored paint because I'm going to be blowing it up on, on top of the colored paint. And to help the paint move here. And now I'm just going to get ready here to um, blow that white paint up and over the other paints. And I do have my blow dryer on uh, low and cool to help control where the paint goes here. And that is the setting. You can use it on high if you're comfortable with that, but um, I suggest the cool setting. And now I'm just using my little dry, it's a little leaf blower it's called, the world's smallest leaf blower. I did purchase that on Amazon. And I'm just going to be using that to blow the paint out. I find I have more control with a little dryer than with the big one. You can just see all these really pretty colors coming through here. And I really think that is due to the mix. My pouring medium today was seven parts of the mix to one part of the paint but I did thin my paints down with about five drops of water so this is the thinnest 
that my paints have been so far but with using the mix. But really what I like is the colors do not get muted at all. They're so bright. And you'll be able to see that at the end of the video when I give you the close-up. And if you know me, I like wispies in my Dutch pours. And that's what I'm working at on the edges there after I get the paint blown out. I just like to work a little bit with getting more wispies. Again, this is just a 12 by 16 inch canvas. And this is the part, it does take me a while here to work with blowing all this paint out. So this would be the part of the video. If you did want to fast forward, you could, just to see the final results. And at this time, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers, all of my viewers. I do appreciate you. I hope that you are learning something from my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, that would be great if you'd consider subscribing. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And that way, when you ring the bell and choose all, you'll know every time that I do post a new video. The Dutch pour is actually the hardest pour for me. Um, I find it really challenging to get the composition just, just the way I like it. Again, I think that's why I use the smaller uh, blow dryer here to be able just to control the paint. So far, so good. I'm loving the colors in this, especially the yellow and the blue. That yellow, blue, and green, I just think they're beautiful together. When you're doing the Dutch pour, don't be afraid to to really blow out that paint because you'd be amazed at all the colors that come up from underneath like you're seeing happening here. You do have to be uh, careful not to get your, your colors muddied with mixing them, but you do want to bring up as much color as possible. Now here I'm just going back and working on the composition. Trying to pull out some of those colors. And I do have quite a bit, bit of negative space on this canvas, which is good with a Dutch pour but I just wanted to just pull a little bit more paint out here and there. Just to make it a little more attractive for the eye to see. Now I've gotten out my straw. This is the last thing that I work with. Again, just to pull a little bit of that paint down. until I'm happy with the composition. And I'm just turning the canvas so I can get to uh, certain spots easier with uh, blowing it out with the straw.
I have seen a few artists that actually blow out their Dutch pours just by mouth, which I think is fantastic if you can do that, but many of us can't. Again, you can just see me working on those fine details on the edges here until I'm happy with it. If you have any questions or would like to leave a comment, please do so. I would get back to you as soon as I could. As much as I love doing um, acrylic painting, I, I love uh, the teaching aspect of it. If I can help anyone along in their journey, that's that's what I like to do. I'm just taking a look at it here. See if there's another area that I want to blow out just a little bit more. Some of the paint was concentrated the colors were a little more concentrated than I wanted so I did go back and just blow a little more on them this is quite a process If you want to see an artist that does really beautiful Dutch pours, I think Rinske Dauna, it's R-I-N-S-K-E-D-O-U-N-A, Rinske Dauna. Check out her channel. She does lovely Dutch pours. Just still putting some little final touches on those. Pulling out some wispies there. I am very happy with how this painting turned out. The colors just stay, stayed so vibrant. And I am looking forward to showing you the, the wet results at the end. Okay, here I'm just taking another look at it. Just blowing a little more out. I was worried that a lot of the uh, canvas wouldn't stay in the in where the camera is, but it looks like uh, you were able to view most of it. There I'm just working at that one end, the far end there a little bit, pulling out some of that paint. That's where it was very concentrated. And here, I think, is where I just fix a little bit of 
where some red paint had uh, dripped onto the white canvas there. I'm just going to fix that up a little bit. And now I'm just torching it to get rid of some of the air bubbles. And at this point, I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Okay, here's the wet results. This is the upper left-hand corner, just coming down the left-hand side. As you can see, those colors just stayed so beautiful. They played well with each other. Very vibrant painting. I'm very happy with this Dutch pour. And here I'm just taking you up the middle. can see how I just like to work on the edges. This is the upper right hand corner here. I thought that was really pretty how that yellow turned out. And the red, how the red came through. This is probably one of my favorite spots is right in here with the yellow and the red. Beautiful. And this is the lower right hand corner so let me know what you think about this video give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it that would be great if you have an artist friend or just anybody on youtube you think would enjoy this uh video on how to do a dutch pour